Hello, here we are, week number four. Um, it sounds like it's going to go on a few more weeks, doesn't it? So um, potentially another three weeks, maybe four weeks, could be another five weeks. Let's see how we get on. But um, hope you're well, and we're going to get stuck straight into this today. I've got the hoodie on. It's cold outside, and I've just come to the studio, and nothing, nobody's been in here all day because we've been doing other stuff. So um, I'm going to keep this on, so don't be misled that this is an easy one, okay? Um, things that you'll need... I've got a medicine ball, anything will do. If you haven't got any equipment, go and get a rucksack, chuck a load of stuff in it, get it to weigh between 5, 10, 15 kilos, okay? Uh, which would be quite hard to get anything above sort of 10, 15 kilos, but if you can, great, all right? So uh, we are going, I'm not going to try and um, record this on my watch, so just gonna, I'm just going to use this for timer. So we're going to go for three sets of 60 seconds of toe tap. So tap those are done circuits, very straightforward. All we're doing is tapping on top of the ball. I'll move around the ball and come to the side so you can see it at the same time. All right. Okay. Ready? I am. And go. So warm up is purely that. Okay, this is going to bounce around like it all does. I'm going to try this one day without the earphones in. Clip this on here. As soon as I get warm, I'll be taking this off anyway. Right. Just use your arms, use your legs, get the foot up on the top. So when I say toe taps, you'll see here, I'm tapping the ball, not kicking it. Okay, tap, tap, get the knees high. That's what we're trying to achieve. What's everyone been up to today? I've been doing an admin day, so I've been on the laptop, doing round table stuff, doing a bit of RNLI learning. There. Come back around. And my cover. Yeah, so I've just been doing a bit of admin. Bit of paperwork, a couple of diet plans for a couple of you guys. A couple of exercise plans for some of my one to one clients. Catch up on the diary. Looking at the bank account. Doing all those sort of things. So, my first bit of activity today is to do this session, which I didn't do it earlier. And uh, later on, after this, we're doing our muck walk in the woods, taking the girls out, and then we're going to, uh, well, I'm going to uh, jump on the turbo trainer and do a, a turbo session. I was going to go out and run, but I haven't done a turbo for about three days, so I'm going to do that. All right, 30 seconds recovery, give or take, is enough. So I'm going to go again, second set. Yeah, I'm trying to alternate between running and the turbo, just because... I'm used to doing two hours of spin a week over some of you, and I don't want to lose that, so by doing lots of running, I'm losing my bike fitness, so I'm trying to do a bit of everything, really. And the turbo is quite a good fun. In my conservatory, looking out in my garden. So yeah, whatever you use equipment-wise, just make sure it's the size of a head, so you can get your feet right up on top of it. Use those arms. And breathe up, just a minute. In between each of these, they are just standing there, have a little stretch off. You've been sat around all day like I have. Oh, shame belly. Um, and you might be a little bit stiff, or you might be achy from doing some other workout. Now, I know some of you aren't doing these. 60, about 60 of you on the WhatsApp group probably aren't doing this. So if you're getting something from the WhatsApp group, I'm pleased that those that are doing it, obviously, but come on, guys, get on it. When we come back to normal, I don't you all saying, oh, I can't come to class, I've not done a link. I haven't been active, I've been too busy. Rubbish. Okay, get on it. Easy, easy, easy. You do, like I said to everyone, do 20 minutes. Get your families involved. Julie, you got your family involved. 20 minutes, half hour, got them, got them working. I know the Thomases have been on it. We should have a little family challenge, shouldn't we? Right, ready? Third set, go. That's the family workout video. Get everyone on it.
I would get my guys involved, but we'd never get anything done. So today's quite a, quite a basic workout. Nothing too complicated. Not too easy, but not complicated. Keep tapping that ball, keep moving the ball. I'm going to try and do this in one hit, this video. So I don't have to edit it down too much. Four, three, two, one. Good. Right, time to lose the hoodie. It's not my favourite hoodie, it's the grey one. Right. Keep drinking water in between. Have a little stretch off if you need to. I've already done mine. A little stretch off on the quads. So, what's up next? Joe Whips wouldn't have this problem, would he? Right. Warm up done. 60 seconds, three sets, toe taps. Right. Squat back. These are like a squat thrust position, but you're squatting back into the feet. So you really get the, the quads working and get the glute, glutes fired up as well. Three sets of 20, 30 to 40, 60 seconds in between, depending on what you prefer. I'll do the first set facing you. Second set I'll do to the side, and you get an idea of what we're doing, okay? Right. Hands down, feet there. We're crunching back into it and forward. One. Make sure the knees, two, come down a bit. Three, don't touch the floor. Four, five, six. So you go push up position at the top. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Floor's a bit slippery. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. Minute, five seconds. Good. So they really get the quads fired up because you're, you're pressing away from that flat position. The second set I do is a bench slightly in the way here, but you you need to go for my... My legs not the rest of me. Um, I'll go side on so you can see. You need to keep this engaged and you need to be, if you go completely press up position, you can't get your backside back over your heels. So you need to go slightly ramped in to what I would call a bad push up position and then get your, your backside down over your heels. Again, we've done these for, I'm not giving you anything, I don't think, that I've not ever given you in terms of um, a class uh, or a one-to-one -one set, those at one-to-one -one with me, okay? Because there's all sorts of people on here, hopefully watching this. All right. Give you a little bit more recovery on that, 30 seconds. Okay, happy with that? Right, let's go, second set. So, you'll see here, I'm in about that position there. So, I can go flat there, which means I can't get quite back over. I can go in a little bit, so we're going to go there. That way I'm in a like a slog position. So one, two, three, nice and slow. Four, if you do feel your feet slide away, five, just drag them in a bit. Six, if you make a mark on the floor, then you'll know where you go. Seven, eight, nine. I was really aware how much I was breathing on the last video. As I'm trying to breathe away from the mic. 14, 15, 16, everyone get out for hourly, 17, exercise, 18, 19, 20, and should I get told off for that, it's not an hour is it, is it an hour, no one said how long you can go out, but you can go out for once a day, I've seen people on my Strava, um, one guy went out and did, I don't know, like 50, 60 miles on his bike, he was out for like three, four hours, and then I've seen other people go out, went out walking yesterday with the girls, um, hour and a half. Obviously I've been out for a run, I did 13 last week, that was two hours. 
So everyone's going to have a different, different amount of flow. I think for me, it's about where you go. If you're going to go down to the seafront and it's going to be busy, go out 10, 15, 20 minutes. If you're going to go up onto the wildlife park, fire hills, sorry, I thought that was something going on then. No, I thought it was my pager. Um, if you're going to go fire hills or somewhere a bit more remote, there's no one about, you can be out for as long as you like, can't you? Okay, third step. I'll go across again. Actually, I'll go this side. Let's see who's in this. Then we'll know. Right, so three sets of 20. Come around a little bit. There you go, you can squeeze the feet in there. And back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get that core working. Be really cheeky, I'm like, turn them into a push up. <laughs> but I won't. 10. Got those to come later. 11. 12. 13. Anyone watching this will think, well, they look easy. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. And 20. Good. Hope you can all hear me still. My biggest fear is I get to all of this and then for whatever reason the sound has cut off or it hasn't paired properly. And all you can see is me doing a workout without any intuition. Intuition? Without any tuition. Right, weighted lunges. So this is where you need either a barbell, which I doubt many of you have got, a pair of dumbbells, which most of you may have, um, a heavy rucksack, some shopping, I don't know, a bag of money. <laughs> Bag of makeup, a dog. Those of you who got dogs these days, okay? Just pick something up. So I'm going to go with a 15 kilo barbell, um, only because I don't want to overload my legs because I'm going to do a, a servo session after this, okay? So weighted lunges, 15 kilos. Or you can go kettlebell. It's easy to hold a kettlebell, isn't it, up here? But I fancy a bit of a barbell today, so we'll go barbell. So you can either hold the weight on front, which will be there or onto the traps there, okay? Which is nice and easy. I've written down here three sets of 12, okay? So, correct lunge, you step forward, and you sink down and back up. One, two, three, keep the back straight. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, so this is 15 kilos, nine, 10, 11, 12, and to the side, one, two, three, four, shoulders or you can take it off I'll leave it on there um, so you'll notice that my knee goes deep biggest thing with a lunge is that you know you're thinking that knee all the way down if you're not going all the way down it's not a lunge the point of this is to open up those legs get them at 90 degrees and get all the way down so because we're going alternate right to left left to right right to left on um, we don't need loads of recovery do we so we can go straight back in again okay so, one, two, that makes this a bit quicker, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, straight in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Get a bit closer. So, here's a question. How many of you watch the entire video through, then do the workout? How many of you watch the entire video through and then don't do the workout? And how many of you just press play and follow it as you go? Interested to find out? Itchy leg. Itchy leg. Right. Get warm. Third set. Ready? So you can start either way, I don't care which side you start with, we try and stick to the same one, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, other side, one, two, three, four, five. again later. Whew, I've got the legs going. I'd also like to know what's your favourite workout so far and why and what is the favourite exercise you've done or you did in that um, workout and why. Okay. Right. I'm quite fortunate that I have a three inch box here which is perfect for what I want to do next because we've got three sets of big muscles in the body. We've got, in the lower body, we've got quads, hamstrings and calf. And a lot of people rarely utilize the calf. So what I want to do, what's a bit of balance you do against the wall, is I want to stand on the edge of that box and you can see balls of the foot, very bottom of the lace on there. What are we going to do? It's going to go down, we're going to go up. That is beating, I think. I think my page is running low on batteries. Anyhow, so we're going to go three sets of 20 on this. This is about balance, so usually I'll do it against the wall. And in fact, I'll make it a little bit harder. We'll chuck a kettlebell in there. My cars can take it. So, edge of the step. If you haven't got a step, don't use anything like a book because it will flip up, okay? Um, use a plank of wood, uh, fold up, I don't know, a lot of rings of paper or something. Just if you can elevate. If you can't elevate, go flat on the floor, it's fine, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's lifting up even me like Nine. I'll weight that down, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, ooh, <laughs> 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, and 20. That makes it even hot from a balance perspective. So, we'll weight that down. Yeah, so flat floor is fine, but ideally if you can elevate, the best place to do it, bottom of the stairs. You've got a handrail to hold on so you can hang on to the stair, and um, you can just bounce off of that. But anything else, I'm just going to check this. Okay. Right. Second set. Now the weighted. But you notice as well when I do my calf raises that I don't roll out that way. It's really important that you come up and control. Because guess what? When you run, you run like that. You don't roll out. Okay. Some have a, a, a bit of a pronation in or out, supination, pronation. Um, but when we lift, we want to keep everything in a straight line. It's, it's my whole thing of squatting like that as opposed to squatting like that. Okay. Work the body how it's designed to work and how you use it every day. Okay. Quite important. Right. So, second set. See, so, do you know what? I'm going to swap that for a pair of these because they're heavier and it's easier. I'm not holding it in front of the body. Right, so these are 8 kilos, 16 kilos. So we're going 1, 2, 3, 4. Slow is good. 5. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, oops, sixteen, it's actually hard on this, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Good. Actually, it's quite good because that's three inches. When I lose balance and drop off the edge, what actually happens is my heel, can't see, can you? Help us in the way. My heel ends up dropping all the way down, so we end up going all the way down. So that does actually help it a little bit, although it's not ideal for balance. It's so much easier when you're against the wall, you can just put your finger against the wall, which just helps you keep, keep up there. Okay. Ready to go? Third set. Your calf's burning, because they should be, if you've loaded up. So if you've got a rucksack and you've just put it on your back, hold on to the straps. Even just holding the straps, you'll find you just have a little bit more control. Right, see so if we can get through this without falling off. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, slow. Seven, don't drop like a stone. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, trying to get deep. Twelve, you want to make sure the heels go down. Thirteen, lower than the platform you stood on. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, oh, 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 there he goes. Eighteen. 19, 20, okay, good, perfect, there you go, three sets, of 60 calf raises, with 16 kilos added onto your body weight, so again, just to cover that off, make sure, I can move that now, can't I, make sure, when you're on here, that you are going all the way up, okay, so, tiptoes, and down, Tiptoes and down, tiptoes and down. Okay, that's full range of motion. Then I'm doing a bicep curl, and the difference between doing a bicep curl properly and not doing it properly is a bicep curl, you end up doing that, and you're half contracting the muscle. You want to go full arm, bent arm, same with the legs. Okay, so squat back's done, weighted lunges done, calf raises done, that's your leg workout done. 25 minutes with a bit of chit chat, so we'll call that 20, we're bang on target. 
Right, bicep curls. Um, I'm going to be ambitious. I'm going to go with a, 12, a, a 20 kilo bar, but I'm going to go 12 reps times three, okay? I haven't done many of these on a 20 bar, so give you an idea of what we're looking for. If you don't have a barbell, then use a kettlebell, hold it, obviously by the ball, swing it up. If you've got a kettlebell, use resistance bands, use anything. Use a broom handle, put some um, heavy bags on the end, like a couple of shopping bags. I know it looks silly, but it doesn't matter, does it? You're just doing whatever you're doing. Go and get anything that, that, that forms like a long bar, okay? If you can't find a long bar, a couple of dumbbells is fine, medicine balls is fine. Anything that's heavy that involves you curling your arms is acceptable, okay? Knees soft, shoulder width apart, look at my feet, my hips, my shoulders, that shoulder width apart. So we're going to the top and back down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at the speed. Nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. So at the bottom of the rep, my arm is straight. Okay, it's not back hung here. Okay, really important. That's twenty kilos. That's quite a chunk of weight. Um, work on your ability. Twelve reps at twenty kilos for me is about right on three sets. I'm not looking at gaining loads and loads of muscle. So I'm not training for hypertrophy, which is getting bigger because of what I do. So for me, um, a few of you have asked about weight. Use a weight that challenges you. I don't think any of you that I train with are trying to get bigger muscles. I think you're just trying to burn fat and you're trying to show some tones and definitions. So a slightly lighter weight and slightly more reps can be better than me picking up a struggling four, five, six reps equally. But 12 reps, I'm, I'm at my maximum. I'm probably going to struggle to get to 20 reps, and I don't need to get to 20 reps, okay? So find the balance. It's, it's, I always say it's like running a, a, a bath. Too much hot water, too much cold water is going to be uncomfortable. Get it somewhere in the middle, so adjust it, okay? Get yourself where you need to be, all right? So second step, 12 reps. So I'm going to stand side on. Which way shall I stand? Shall I stand that way? There you go. Make sure your grip is equal where it needs to be, okay? Arms straight, we're curling to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice the pause at the top, stops. Eight, momentum kicking in and swinging. Nine, ten. 11, and breathe, 12, okay, perfect, perfect time, about two seconds, about two seconds, if you start swinging it, body starts to come in, and if I'm going to get my body involved, then this is no longer doing any work, this is all about isolating here, um, so control, pull, release, pull, release, get the muscle doing what it should be doing, and don't try and trick it into getting the weight from the bottom to the top because if I start throwing it, this ain't working, the rest of your body's working. That's what kettlebell's for, okay? Swing that instead. That's the whole body swinging. That gets, you know, gets, more, gets more muscle involved, more metabolic compound movement. Okay, so we go third set. I'm just looking at what's ahead here. I've got a bit enough more than I can chew. Right. Face on again so I can see what I'm doing. Shoulder width apart, knee soft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breather. 
So, biceps done, that's your first set. Your second set will be push-ups. I don't know why people call them push-ups, I don't know why people call them press-ups, it's exactly the same thing. I'm sure one's probably a bit more Americanized. Um, I like to call them push-ups because you're pushing, pu pushing? You're pushing, pushing. Okay, if I'm gonna press something, I'm gonna press, press it with my finger. Press here, press here with your thumb with your finger. If you're pushing, use your hand. It, to me, signifies a bigger weight. That's just me being picky, because I'm allowed to be, because it's what I do for a living. Right. Do we need a lesson in press-ups, push-ups, whatever you want to call them? Uh, yeah, we do, because most of you, uh, with respect, most of you don't get this exactly where you need it to be. So, um, I'm going to go for, I don't know, 20? Should we try 20, 12, 20? We'll see how we get on. Um, when you're into your press-up position, all exercise is about straight arms, right angles, and so on and so forth, okay? What I see a lot of is people with their hands either too far apart, too close together, their shoulders aren't positioned properly, so on and so forth. You want your, your hands shoulder width apart, or just slightly wider than shoulder width apart. So I stand like that, you could probably argue that my arms are slightly pyramided out, but they're, they're as straight as I want them to be with my fingers pointing forward, because that's a natural position. That's not a natural position. That's arguably not that, that, that natural either, okay? Most of us will stand with our hands up, so therefore that is our best power point there, okay? Press them forward. So that's how we want our push-ups. To get the right angle, your shoulders then need to be above your hands, okay? If you're raking back, you're trying to do a press-up in that angle there. So you're trying to push away from there rather than pressing straight up. Your biggest power is in a vertical um, direction. So therefore, when we've got our hand shoulder at the part, try not to waffle here, I know some of you want to get on with this, um, and our shoulders above that, and I put my feet out, that's the best position for me. I'm, I'm straight there, aren't I, okay? So when we go down, we're going all the way down, and not all the way, um, we're going all the way down, we're not going halfway, okay? So down and up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. I wonder if I'll get to 20 then. That, was going to be a, that could have been an edit. <coughs> right. So do that way. I'll show you that way. Let me get some water. Also, as well, I know I keep talking about people um, feeding back, communicating with me. I need to know from you all the time what to do next. So I sat here this afternoon and thought, right, it's right out of set. Uh, what have we done? What can we do? What will be easy? What will be hard? What will they want to do? Tell me. Literally, tell me. Paul, can we do this? Can we do that? Can we drink coffee? Can we get some donuts? Can we have a beer? Can we jog on the spot for five seconds and have a two minute chat? I don't care, do whatever. Whew. Right, second set. So I've bitten off 60 here, three sets of 20 with a bit of recovery. Okay, we'll see how we get on. Knee push-ups. They're not lazy push-ups, are they? Because a lot of ladies, a lot of ladies that come to the class, a lot of ladies that I know can do proper push-ups. So therefore, it's not fair to call them a lady push-up. That's derogatory. Just ticking the box here for equality. So, knee push-ups. If you sit on all fours like that and try and do a push-up, that happens. And that is really a waste of time because you're not achieving anything. So when I say to people about doing a push-up, and I hope all of you watch this because when circuits comes back, I am going to be chasing you on form. So with your knees there, okay, that's not an acceptable push-up. You need to take your knees back until you're there. So imagine I'm a dwarf with really, really small legs. 
and then I bring my hands. So I'm now at exactly what I started with, the perfect push-up position. So what we're doing is we've taken from my foot to my knee weight out of the lever. Okay, so it's a short lever now. So we're going down and back up. And guess what? That's so much easier. And my backside doesn't come up before everything else, okay? If you want to pray to Mecca, yeah? It's all a bit weird, isn't it? Or that, that's the other one I see. Or we just don't kind of get it right at all and we, we half it, okay? So, knees flat. And you're pressing off the top of the leg, not on your kneecaps, which is why you can do this on hard ground, okay? I'm just stalling before I do my next set. So, feet, okay, head up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, one more, 20, good, getting a bit tougher, getting a bit tougher, the slower you go, the deeper you go, the harder it is, the more effective it is, obviously, how are we doing, 37 minutes, crikey, <clears throat> The quicker you go, and the shallower you go, it turns slightly diagonally, um, the less effective it is, which means you'll do more, which isn't the answer. Quality over quantity, Q over Q, okay? Do it right or don't do it. <sighs> Everyone's still with me? This is really weird, I'm talking to myself, I have no idea. Because I'm not doing this live and going, hello Dave, oh, hello Dave, or whoever it is that signs on. So I'm not doing that, I'm just recording this, I'm just looking at myself, so I'm talking to you as if you're in the room. And uh, like when I did the, uh, which one I did the other day, oh, the diet one. No idea if anyone's going to watch it, turns out 50 of you did, or somebody watched it 55 times just to get my ratings up. So that's the other part of this, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you will see the videos go up, because what I actually do is I put the uh, videos on YouTube, link that to my um, website, because I want my website analytics to work. So I need you to go to my website first to watch the video that comes from YouTube. So I get your analytics from visiting my website, shows my website's performing, and my YouTube video account goes up. <coughs> Business, eh? Right. 20 of these. It's going to make 60 for me. It's going to be a bit of a, a chunk, but we'll give it a go, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, whew, seventeen, eighteen, we're there, nineteen, one more. 20. Good. Saves embarrassment, doesn't it? My PT couldn't even do a three sets. I can hear it now. Right. <laughs> Gonna get a hurry up. I'm planning on being 45 minutes. That just gives us six minutes. Right. Uh, shoulder press. Barbell, dumbbell, dog, watermelon, small child, balloon, whatever you fancy. Uh, I'm going to go with my 15 kilo bar. And again, there's a couple of different ways to press a barbell. We've got stand up overhand grip that way, which when we're here, we're pressing up, go straight up. We've got a bicep curl, which is a bit cheeky, this is a bit harder. Which goes there, narrow together, and goes up, okay? I want you to go that way around, okay? These are 12, three sets of 12, whatever weight 
you decide you want to do, okay? Again, if you haven't got a barbell, broom handle, a couple of bags of uh, shopping on the end, or whatever, I don't mind. Empty barbell on its own, a lump of iron, go and get a branch out of the woods, if you live near the woods, well, I don't mind, whatever. Right, so we've just pressed off of the chest, so arms are going to be a bit tired now. So we're going to go off shoulders. So, that position there, and you want to keep neutral, okay? Don't look up, okay? We're going to go 12, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, oh, God, I went with the fifteen. You can put it down in between. Absolutely fine. I bet that sounds wonderful. It's going to be slurping out of there. Do do do. So, on the news that we've got, I don't know, they're saying three weeks. I think we the reality is that might be four, five, six weeks. Um, how many of you worried? about your jobs, about boredom, about the weather. How many of you are thinking, gee, well, that's being off, isn't it? It's nice to get some stuff done. Because some of us can work from home. I think it shows um, a lot of industries, a lot of jobs. It's perfectly acceptable to, to work from home, log on, do stuff from home. I've noticed the difference, obviously, because I'm not seeing you guys face-to-face. -face. I'm doing this, so this is like doing, I don't know, 20, 30 sessions in one go, um, which obviously from a monetary point of view is different. Um, and I'm not getting any interaction. So socially, um, which is why I did my FaceTime um, communication thing, is it's actually nice to hear from some of you. Um, you know, 89 of the group, let's say two thirds of you watch or you know read the post. Ring me up, ring me, WhatsApp me, you know, um, uh, FaceTime me, um, talk, communicate. Good. Right, buying more time here. Second set. If you want to add something else into this, we talked about this last time, making more movements out of it. If you've got a slightly heavier bar, so it's a deadlift, pick it up. So feet under the bar, come down, driver to there, cleaner to there. That's your start position, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, two more, eleven, twelve, good. Yeah, talking is good. It's good to hear from you. Find out if you're okay, if you're eating properly, if you're struggling with any of it. If you're not watching the videos because you think, you know what, well, I pay to go to a class and it's more motivating for me to go up to a uh, a hall or a room or a field where there's 12 or 15 people I know. That's fine, but let me know that. Um, maybe we can work some out. Can we get two or three of us together somehow by Zoom or whatever? And, do, and do, maybe we could do a live one. We're not going to do a live one with 90 people. It'd be horrendous. But um, yeah, maybe we can find a way around it. Whatever works for you, I'm happy to try if it means that you stay on it. And selfishly, what I don't want to happen is at the end of this, when the lockdown's over, is that you all say, you know, I haven't worked for. Sort of nine nine weeks. I haven't I haven't exercised. I haven't done anything. I haven't been active, so I'm not fit enough. And I'll come back when I get fit. This is what I hear all the time. And guess what? If you don't come back, then you don't get fit. You're not going to get fit on your own device. And if you get fit, if you're fit enough, why then come back? Because you've reached your goal. So firstly, you're never going to get fit without coming to a class. And secondly, if you get fit, you don't need to come to a class, do you? So. Think about that, okay? There's no such thing as I'll get fit and come to a class. Part that one. Right, last set of arms. If you're like mine, or if your arms are like mine, they should be a little bit pumped, okay? So we've got this to go, and then we'll bang out some core really, really quickly. It's not going to be a massive amount of core, but you can have more on if you want to make this longer. So, feet under the bar, and deadlift it in. Clean us to there. And back to the top of the bar. Three sets of 12. One, 
two, three, four. Really force it up as well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Make the last one a bit slower if you want to work those arms a bit. Right. Core. What have I written down for core? Dorsal raises with a twist. Still working on my lower back, still having some problems. So I'm going to throw these in here for you. You can do them as well. So let the arms recover as you get back into this. Whew. Laying on your front. Hands there. And twist over. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four. Keep the toes pointing in the floor. Five, don't let them come up. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna breathe. I don't know how this sounds because I'm down, I'm laying on it, so it's quite close to my chest. Um, but yeah, when you come up, don't lift the feet up. Okay, keep the feet pressed into the floor. You twist and open up down that side of the court. Okay, second set. One. Should get a little bit more movement now. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten. Good, second set done. 48 minutes. Okay, this will be just short, 55 minutes. We get this, get this done quicker. Yeah. Can't believe how cold it's turned. Sunday we went for a walk in the woods. I was just in a, a gym fest basically in uh, <coughs> shorts. And yesterday we went for a walk in the woods and it was, excuse me, coronavirus. Um, yesterday we went and it was hoodies and I had to put my hood up and I wish I had a coat it was that cold. Crazy, isn't it? Right, so that's it. One, much further around now. Two, big open up. Three, four, five, get our elbow all the way down. Six, seven, keep the feet down. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Excellent. Right. High plank, two touch, and then we're done. Okay. 50 minutes. So, high plank, right position there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So can you take your time on these if you want to go slower? You go slower. If you want to go quicker, go quicker. Okay, second set. One. Okay, second set. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two set done. Open the door. Now set. So the point of these is, by the time you get to this stage, your legs are a bit jelly, and your arms are a bit jelly. You call that and do a bit of work. Okay. Fifty-two minutes. We're doing good. Okay. One. Two. Three.